A top Obama administration official teeing off on Fox News. This follows the State Department's bombshell admission that someone purposely deleted eight minutes of video from the agency's website and YouTube channel. It happened in a briefing there three years ago over questions about the Iran nuclear deal. In an email, former spokesperson Jen Psaki claimed to Fox News correspondent James Rosen that the editing referred to video, not just a transcript, as she previously suggested. And then she turned up the heat. Psaki writes, I understand it is inconvenient for you that I have nothing to do with this, given you have spent the last three weeks vilifying me on television. I would encourage you to also ask the State Department if there is any evidence. Hopefully you will find the time to spend on the range of global events happening in the world in between attacking my character. Here now, Juan Williams, author of the book We the People, also a Fox News political analyst, and Mercedes Schlapp, former media spokesperson for George W. Bush, also a Fox News contributor. Welcome both. Happy Friday. Good morning. All right, Juan, take you back uh, to your time as a reporter from the Washington Post there on the White House beat. It seems as though you always know you're onto something when they start attacking the questioner rather than the question. No doubt about it. And so what we have here is a situation where I think the administration feels on the defensive now. Uh, John Kirby, who's the current State Department spokesman, Leland, uh, says there's no cover-up. He came on Fox and Friends and said, you know, he's the one who says he wants to make sure this doesn't happen again. But when you see the kind of reaction from Zen Psaki, that you see the kind of reaction that's coming from the administration at the moment, you understand they're back on their heels on this question because it's hard to get around the idea that they don't like the exchange that took place between James Rosen and Jen Psaki because it suggests that there was some duplicity at play. All right. Well, uh, obviously, uh, they now admit that they were the ones who deleted it. They said it was an intentional yep. act now. You just talked about uh, Kirby, uh, the State Department spokesperson on Fox and Friends. Take a listen. I want to thank James Rosen, uh, your correspondent, for bringing this to my attention. Because if he hadn't uh, a couple of weeks ago, I would never have known that, uh, that this occurred. Uh, so, first of all, kudos to him. And I, he's a journalist that I have uh, great respect for. Now, Mercedes, uh, the State Department now says, oh, gee, we've reached the end of the line. We can't figure out who possibly ordered this deletion. Would that have flown in the Bush administration if the exact same thing had happened? <laughs> Absolutely not. And let me tell you something. The State Department is saying that they can't trace these phone records from three years ago. But my goodness, they were really able to track down those emails and phone records from James Rosen. How interesting. So it really comes to play in the fact that because they are on the defensive, because they're off message, quite frankly, it plays into the narrative of this corruption, of the media manipulation, of the censorship. And this is something that requires for someone in the administration to get fired. One, does, do you buy that this is just going to go away in the way the administration seems to want the State Department saying yeah, there's nothing more we can do? Or is it time for other media organizations, Washington Post, those kind of people, to really start demanding answers? Well, I think you've got to demand answers. I mean, I'm a big believer in that you don't mess with the record. Now, let me be clear. There was some thought that maybe, according to the Federal Records Act, there might be a legal issue here that someone had violated the law. Now, what we're being told by the State Department is this was not a deletion of the official record, but of the public record, and so, therefore, there's no actual criminal activity at stake. But I think when you have this kind of deletion, man, you, you are messing with history, Leland. And remember, they had the, the Francois Hollande issue when he was talking right. about uh, terrorism and Islamic terrorism, and when he said that at a conference in Washington, that got deleted from his video record. You can't have that. That's not the way democracy is supposed to work, and especially in an era when we have concerns as journalists, all of us, about going back and having the real record so that we can tell people what's going on and hold accountable officials in our government. And it makes it very hard when, to talk about the global issues, Mercedes, that Jen Psaki wants everyone to talk about when they can't even tell the truth about their position on the global issues. Last time I checked, this Iranian issue is a global issue, and the mere fact that they lied to the American people, that this administration has decided to say we weren't having these secret negotiations or secret diplomacy with Iran, is unfair. It's, it's, it's inappropriate. The American people have the right to know, especially when you're talking about an incredibly unpopular uh, deal that the United States has made with this Iranian regime. Yeah, well, we'll have to see if the State Department can't figure out who called who when. Uh, one, one would think well, American better. diplomats uh, 
have that uh, those records sitting around. We'll see. Juan, Mercedes, have a great weekend. Thanks, guys. Take care.